I don't know when I'm going to go, how long I've got. She's not going to get better, Meg. She's just going to stay how she is and get worse. And don't let what happened to me stop you. It's really hard. Stop it. Let's see. Oh. You're looking at the person you love the most in a lot of pain. You don't push that hard at me. I just don't like to see her like that at all. I need to get out, but I feel like crap. My mum needs me. <laughs> Are you okay? Sometimes I get upset. But I just keep you inside. I don't want to make her feel bad. If I was a horse, they would have shot me by now. I'm glad you're not a horse, then. <laughs> Madison! My name's Madison. I live with my mum called Jade. I think the stress is making me sick. Mum and Dad split up when I was five or six, and that's when I started caring for her. I need to get out, but I feel like crap. My mum's head doesn't always work as a normal person's head. You're down free amitriptyline. She sees a head doctor once a week, but he don't really know what's wrong with her. But she takes a lot of tablets every day, and she says they help her. I don't take all this out of choice. I hear that choice has been taken from me. Mum's head problems can be hard to deal with sometimes. Oh, I feel so. But she also has something called fibromyalgia, which makes her body really hurt. Can't do this. Wait, wait, wait. How does fibromyalgia feel? It hurts. It's muscles, isn't it? It affects, like, the, it's around all the joints, so all the ligaments and the tendons are what caused the pain. If I was a horse, they would have shot me by now. I'm glad you're not a horse, then. <laughs> On a typical day, I get up, do the dishes, hate washing up. Then sometimes, when I buy my mum is, I bath her or dress her. Go to school, come back, and then just do typical jobs. Like clean up and doing tea. Thanks, babe. Then putting bins out, tidying up the house, walking the dog. Baylor, come here. Can you bring the pile of clothes up as well, please? The clean washing. Whee! I don't moan about it, I just do it. But with all my jobs, it can be hard finding time to hang out with my mates. Come on, Madison, please. I'm tired. Hello, this is my room. There's the wanted. One direction. And I do archery. And I shoot for Lancashire in the north of England. And I've been shooting for two years. These are for archery. Medal awards, trophies. Good. Took that little finger. That's it. Squeeze. Excellent. One more. That's just my main ambition. In the future, I'd like to shoot for Team GB. Go to different countries. Win a gold medal. Win a real gold. <laughs> Brilliant. Well done. To qualify for Junior Master Bowman, which is the highest grade you can get, you should be scoring over 1050. And you're scoring 1254. So that's 204 points more than what Archer GB are recommending. My coach thinks if I work hard, I can make it to the top. In the whole country, you are ranked 13th. Not bad. Not bad. With everything, what I have to do for my mum, it's going to make it hard because I have to practice a lot. Excellent, well done. I'm prepared to do what it takes to get there. Yeah, I'll wear those trousers. Brown jeans again. 
Babushk. My name is Ellie, I'm 12 years old. No, I don't want that one. I want something a bit more fancy. Well, my mum's condition is called multiple systems atrophy. Everything is kind of like slowly failing. She can't physically walk anymore without help. Um, her hands don't work, her head's on a tilt. Do you want to wear this jumper? Yeah. As she's got worse, she's literally become a prisoner in her own bedroom. She hasn't seen the rest of the house in over three months because it's so hard for us to get her downstairs. Right, Mum. There's Paddy, Dad and Look Cat. And there is me. Oh, I don't look very good today. Now, I'm going to film around the house with me. This is the sitting room. But you haven't been down here very recently. You're not a very good cameraman. The first time my like, mum was ill, like five years ago, she kept getting dizzy. That's not really usual. So that's when things started tipping. Can't believe how messy it is. It doesn't look like my house at all. <laughs> it's kind of annoying, my mummy. Mummy. Mum needs pretty much constant care because she can't do much for herself anymore. Ellie, can you take Mum's latte and medicine up to her? Dad does the bulk of it, but I try to give Mum emotional support. Make her feel nice about herself. Come and bearing gifts. I'm being pampered, I'm having my hair done. It's a treat. You couldn't just push my head up a bit, could you? How's that? Yeah. Other girls my age do stuff with them on like go shopping with them, go swimming or something like that. I find people messing around with their hair relaxing. Most of my free time I just spend in her room. On a weekend night I go from my bed to her bed and then just spend the rest of the day there. It's just become normal now. Don't think of it as anything else. It's nice to have my hair done. I can close my eyes and pretend I'm all right. One, two, three. She used to be very active. She liked cooking. She liked craft fairs and stuff like that. She used to be out in the garden all the time. And I'd just be outside playing while she'd be doing the gardening. I have the pleasure of having my hair done, is watching you have yours done. It makes me feel a bit closer to you as if I'm actually doing something with you. Now really all we can do is just like sit down together. There's so much I can't do that I want to do, like going shopping. Yeah. I think having a good old argument in Primark would be fun. She's not going to get better. Don't really know how else to put it. Just no way to shoot coat it, really. Looking nice, Ellie. Thank you. You look like an old fashioned film star. Do I? Do a flick. Yeah. <laughs> well, check. Arrows, check. Today I'm going to Penrith because I'm competing in an arch competition and we're getting ready for that. Right, that needs to go and that as well, the mat on the book, please. I have to do more for my mum than most people would because her body and her head both hurt her a lot. But mum does a lot for me too. She really supports me, actually. We'll get the boy in, I think, the big stuff. Whenever we go away, my granddad always drives us. Please be careful. I will. Have you definitely got everything? That's it now. Because I've found my audio. It's bad for my mum going in the car for a long period of time. It just hurts her. At the end, she's just, like, exhausted. Hi, guys. Are you checking in? Yes. The hotel's got a restaurant. I'm really looking forward to going. And hopefully they have steak, because I love steak. Can't wait. How are you feeling? Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. I'm sorry, Mad, but I can't go out tonight. I'm not well enough. I apologise for that, Maddie. It's fine. 
It's a shame because I was looking forward to dinner. I thought the food would be really nice. Mum's too poorly to go, but it's fine. A bit disappointing, really, though. Can you turn the light off, please, my dear? I'm going to have a bath now. That exhaust me. Mum's been slowly going downhill for the past five years. Speed goes on. She used to run around everywhere after me and my brother Ben. Sit me down. But now she's stuck upstairs in her room. Ooh. We'd like to move her downstairs to give her more freedom. But there's no bathroom, so it's just not an option. Bye, Mum. We want her to have the best possible life she can because she's lost so much through her illness. Just the daily things that everybody takes for granted she can't do, but she wishes she can. Do you look under here? It's kind of taken all her dignity away. Right, read out. Property features, entrance hall, cloakroom, utility room. At the moment, we're trying to move to a bungalow. Right, let's have a look at the next picture. It'll be good for Mum because she can get around a bit easier without all the trouble of the stairs and stuff like that. And then look at the outside. I'd like to take me a cup of coffee outside for ten minutes and enjoy a bit of sun. We're focusing on the good stuff that the move will bring us. I might need a wet room. There's going to come a time I can't Do get you into a, a bath. No, thank you. But I know there's not always going to be good times because Mum's condition is not going to get any better. I'm only going to get worse. And Do everybody's got to look after me. And so I've got to make it as easy as possible for them. Fire brigade. Listen to what I'm saying. Sorry, Mum, I am listening. Concentrate. Try to tend not to listen because I don't like listening to it, Mum. It's upsetting. Step, kick, down. Every week I go to Star Academy. You do singing, dancing and acting. I've been going there for a couple of years now. One, two, three, four, step. Kick, hold. Yes, I can escape. For a couple of hours, you can just like, lose yourself in the acting. When you come back to yourself, you, you can be happy and then like, you can go face the real world. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I do feel a bit guilty being away from Mum because I like to be there to cheer her up. Right, just sit down for a second. But she enjoys hearing what I've been up to. We're going to come in one at a time. Tonight's a big night because we're auditioning for our next show. We're doing Joseph and his Technicolor Dream coats and I'm really nervous. I'm probably going to have a bum note or forget the words and stuff. Who is in there, Lauren? I'm all nervous. I'm a bit nervous now. If we can move in time, Mum should be able to see the show. And if she's going to be there, I really want to make her proud. It means a lot to me to do things to put a smile on my mum's face. It's like a 24 hour mission. <laughs> well done, Ellie. Fantastic. Thank Good you. Mum! Hi, sweetheart. How did you get on? Yeah, I got Potiphar's wife. Oh, well done. The audition results have gone like really well because I've got quite a good part. I was really excited to tell mum, like, brimming over with excitement. It's a good word, brimming. Isn't it? Brimming. I'm glad you're proud of me, Mummy, to get that part. Yeah, it's really good. I'm very proud of you, always. I'll have to see if I can come to see you. Yeah, you're going to have to come and see me, Mummy. You will get out of this house before the time of my show. Mwah. <laughs> Love you too. Do you want me to make you tea quick? Please. Tea. My name is Jacob, I'm 11 years old and I live with my mum and my twin sister, Olivia. Oh! You right, mum? Yes? Mum's had chronic arthritis for about 20 years now, which makes her joints very painful. Can I go upstairs in a minute, Jay? Please. But three years ago, it became even harder for her because she had an abscess removed from her brain. That's it, Mum, be careful. She had two operations that left her almost paralysed on one side. I hate this bit. Uh, I know. 
if you didn't have them, she wouldn't still be here. It is the hardest thing I've been through. We thought she would die. Done it. Well on. Because of Mum's disability, me and Olivia spend a lot of our time doing the things she can't do anymore. Mum, are you hungry? I am hungry, actually. Cooking, washing up, drying up, dusting, hoovering, making the beds, changing the beds and stuff like that. Oh, bombs away! On top of everything else, we're also doing a lot of packing at the moment. Because in two weeks we're moving house. Do you want to keep this? No. I think we do get a bit more tired than all our friends. <laughs> because a lot of my friends don't do anything and they leave it all to their parents. But if we didn't do what we do, yeah. either nothing would get done or Mum would really hurt herself trying to do it. And our learning objective today is to describe what Henry VIII looked like. When we were at school, most of the time I am worried about Mum, but we can't find her to see how she is. No, he killed his second wife. Well, there's been a few times where Mum's fallen down the stairs. She's had to stay there um, for ages because she can't get up on her own. But at our new house, we're going to have a lift, so hopefully that's going to make things a lot less stressful for all of us. Fantastic. Well done, guys. Start backing up there then for us. Well done. How are you feeling? I just want to go to bed. Well, the stairs wore you out. I'm not really hungry. No, you're having something. Don't start. I'm not fussed. No, you're having I'm something. I'm too tired. I can't do this. That's it. <laughs> Don't push the hard me. At the moment, Mum's crying and I can't imagine how painful it is for her. Hang on, let's stop. I just don't like to see her like that at all. <sighs> You're looking at a person who loves you the most and you love the most. I'm in a lot of pain. Oh. Hopefully when we move, there won't be as many tears from Mum and me and Olivia. I'm sorry, kids. It's just too much today. I'm really sorry. Well, don't be saying sorry to us. <laughs> Right, set your ball up, sit out, so that's done. Stay focused, you know, love your loads. Good luck. Today, I'm representing Lancashire in the north of England inter-county tournament. Last year, I came second in my class. This year, I'm hoping to go one better. I could do with that. I'm sure I brought my grabber to open things. Actually, it's important to me because it gives me a break from caring and like, it relaxes me because you just think of where the hour's going to go and like just focus on winning. How's she doing there, Dad? All nine. Yeah. She's good. Madison, concentrate on your own hours and not on what other people are doing. Yeah, she's good, and so are you. Nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine. I got 999. 999. When you're shooting, you shouldn't have distractions because you're not going to be concentrating on your technique. It's important to have a clear head. Madison, can you come and put this heat mat on my neck, please? Madison! I'm coming! What the hell? Mum, there's people shooting. It's not always easy when Mum's having a bad day. Thanks, babe. Wow. It's 
too many people talking in my head. It's too many. The thing is, although my mum suffers a lot when she comes to support me, I'd worry about her all the time if she wasn't here. Five nines, one seven. Well done. That's 52. Well done, sweet. She's only got six hours left. And most times it doesn't affect me too much. Well done. Oh, well done, Matt. Seen our target. We'll start off with the individual awards with a score of 12.54. Girl compound winner of the Bristol Four is Madison Codling. Yeah. Madison. Really well done. Thank you. I like to win. It's good to get a medal and trophy because then I like, feel like it's paid off. Right, nice smile. And it's good for my mum to see me win. It means that a pain hasn't been for nothing. <laughs> I'm well proud of you. You've done so well. But at the end of the day, we still have to deal with the consequences. These are the downsides of these trips. I have to do everything for my mum now. I need you to sort me back out, man. Right, go. Oh! I think other people at my age, if they were just dropped into my situation, I think it's hard. <sighs> Did you hear it? No. But the more you do it, the more you get used to it. I love you, sweetheart. Oh, yeah. Thanks. No, I've done it for seven years now. Today we picked up the keys for our new house. I'm really looking forward to having a look at it and the suspense, and the suspense is killing me. Mum's found it really hard to get around since her brain operation because it's left her partly paralysed. We have an adjustable hob. Cool. But the new house has been designed to make everything easier for her. This is the bathroom. Very disabled, accessible. Oh, that's a lift. The best thing we've got is a lift. Right, shall I go up? Yep. Bye. We never have to deal with the terror of them stairs again. Oh, I love it. Love it. Oh. Don't let me fall, not for the last time. I really hate this bend. I know. We're moving today and we're moving to a better house, so this is a big moment. I'm going to slide it in there now. Why are you hearting? Mm hmm. I'm not kidding. Don't do anything else. Well, I've got to do things, haven't I? I can't just not do them, because otherwise they won't get done, will they? No, but you have us. Okay. I hope you not. It's weird because before Mum was ill, I was the sort of person who didn't really help. Thank you for doing that, Jacob. Yeah. I played on the Xbox and PlayStation all the time. I knew I was going to spill it, but you just have to get on with it because if Mum didn't have us, it would be in a lot more pain. Right, there you go, mate. I'll tell you what you can do. Yes? You can pick up that box and that lid for me, please. Even though we can't wait to get out of this house, living here hasn't been all bad. Because of the problems we've had to deal with, we've had to help each other a lot. It's certainly served its purpose, hasn't it? Exactly. I think it's definitely brought us a lot closer.
stupid bitch! I looked at the floor and she decided to have a big, great big fucking dump! Madison! In the last few weeks, my mum's head's been really bad. Madison! I'm coming now! She changed to a new therapist and today she's expecting him to tell her what he thinks is wrong with her. I'm going to go and see the head doctor in a bit. Oh, I don't even want to go. You have to. I know. Grandad's here. Let's get going if you find at two. Why? What time is it? Five two. Oh, bollocks. Go, hurry up, just go, go. Right, I'm going. We'll get you there. Right, bye, go on. Right, Mad, I know, but it's five two. What do you mean? Right. Right, be late. You're shouting at me and I can't deal with it. Don't be horrible to me. I'm not horrible, I'm just telling you something. I know, you're... well, I'm sensitive today. Right, love you. Right, love you. People looked at my mum and just said, oh, she's a nutter. You think that's just like judging the book by its colour? If you open the book, they would see a lovely person. A funny one. Or a good mum. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. What did the doctor say? They say that it is bipolar 2, which means I'm manic depressive and I have the odd highs, but more depressed than highs, and borderline personality disorder. Will you get better? Um, no. There is no cure for borderline personality disorder. That is just it. That is what you are, that is what you've got. But with therapy, it's meant to make life easier okay. rather than harder. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to be normal for a long time, if I ever was. Because of how my mum's been recently, I've not been able to go to all my archery training. <sighs> nice shot, Mad. But I'm still getting really good scores and I broke two county records in my last competition. <laughs> My coach thinks how my mum is might affect me archery. Hello, Maddy. So he told me to go and see a sports psychologist. So, seven years you've been your mother's carer. It feels a bit like I'm going to see my own head doctor. If you have a distraction on your focusing, it can lead to a miss. So what are the sort of uh, things that your mother does that can really upset you? Be honest. Smash please, get in rage. When you have a rage, how does it sort of show itself physically? A couple of weeks ago I um I had I was tired and in pain and exhausted and then I just had a, a blowout. I um, screamed and bawled. I'd smashed everything. How did you feel at that time? Do you feel it's your fault when she goes bad that you're her carer and you're not actually doing your job properly? Mm-hmm. Can't do anything about it. None of it's your fault. It's not your fault that your mother's the way she is. You never thought of it like that before. Yeah. And it's like, mm, that makes me kind of, yeah. You are doing your job. But it does, it is, um, sorry. And it's, okay. it's, it's a difficult thing for her to do. She's spent yeah. half her life doing it. Yeah. If it wasn't for you, it would be worse. Yeah. If my mental situation put pressure on you and you couldn't succeed, then that would break me out. I don't want your anxieties to hold you back. Like, mine have got in the way of my life. That would be just a complete and utter waste of a talent, wouldn't it? Hmm? Because you're always a talented girl. Very talented. So, we need to just rework the bit at the beginning. But who's Joseph, you know what they say? Rehearsals for my production of Joseph are going really well. Spot on, well done, guys. Well, 
back. I'm still hoping that Mum will be able to see the show. A bit more enthusiasm. <laughs> but at the moment, we're struggling to find a bungalow to move to. So she's still stuck in her room at the top of our stairs. That looks good. Because of Mum's illness, me and Dad aren't spending as much time together as we used to. Four! We well, used to play golf every Sunday. We don't go that much now. Six! Because we don't have as much free time or anything. Because Mum has got worse. Yay, can I go? He never really talks about how he feels. He's just like, bottles it up, doesn't say anything. It's just like a normal meal, isn't it? Right. <laughs> okay, try again. Are you having fun, Dad? Yes, I am. Good. Just being with my daughter out in the sunshine. Uh, yes, another practice <laughs> shot, even better. I like it when they make him smile. Yes! That was amazing! Wow! Oh, yeah. Beautiful, Ellie. I think Dad's under a lot of pressure. And I'll have the pie with chips. He's responsible for all the house hunting. And he's got so much stuff to juggle with looking after Mum. I feel tremendously guilty even yeah. thinking about myself. I feel guilty for uh, being here, enjoying a lovely meal with you, playing golf, uh, being away from Mum. I do worry about him a lot. They've been married for nearly 20 years now. I don't know whether he's going to survive and be OK with it in the end. You need to get some friends, Dad. Well, <laughs> what friends do I have? What friends well, can I make? Well, go to the gym or play pool. I'm not sure what middle-aged men do. At least once we move, he'll have one less thing to deal with. And hopefully he'll find us a bungalow soon. No, but I am worried about, like, you, because you, you are under a lot of stress. Though. I love you forever. Mm, and I, I, mean, you. I mean it Aww. to the bottom of my heart. Okay? Oh, I love you too, Daddy. We've been in our new house for two weeks now, and things are going really good at the moment. Can you put the plant back on the table? To be honest, this house has changed their lives for the better. Mum can go up and down the floors without us helping her. She's not using all her energy, so she can spend a bit more time with us. You do know I can dodge you, right? I think Mum feels like she's a bit better, Mum. Can we play something we can all play? Yeah. Sometimes in the old house, Mum missed her quite and for going up and down the stairs, but here it hasn't happened once. Mum, you're going first and it's living with me, right? Obviously, the move hasn't fixed everything in our lives. <laughs> Mum still isn't well, and there's a chance that in the future she'll go downhill. But you have to deal with it because you can't live your life. Going, oh no, it's going to get worse. Mum is going to fall. But at the end of the day, Mum's health is a bit better here. She can do a little bit more. So we're we'll really happy about that. <laughs> Lovely. It's been a rubbish, rubbish, rubbish couple of weeks. Mum has been not very well. Her right side just stopped working, and like we had to feed her and do everything for her. She now has to have physio throughout the day just to keep her body moving. This one hurts. I bet it does. To be honest, it was pretty terrifying. for you, Mum, to go with her prawns. Mm. Just half and half, I think. The good thing was that it wasn't permanent, but, you know, like that could be her one day, you know, not being able to do anything at all. So that's quite, you know, daunting. 
Even if we do move in time, I'm not sure Mum can make it to my show now. Dad did actually find us a perfect bungalow, but the owners decided to give it to someone else. Gently. Oh, William. That hurts. Well, that's got a stretch. You so patient with me, are you? He was like quite upset because it has taken us quite a long time to find anywhere and now we have to look for a new house. I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but I hate the thought of mum being stuck in that room because she can't do anything. I'm trying not to cry. I feel really annoyed. I can only give you my input from up here. The move is important and the quicker we do it the better mm. to give you a better quality of life. Um, yeah, it upsets me more than I can say not to be there to help you. <laughs> Go and give me a hug. It's just I ain't see like that. It's just <laughs> she feels horrible about herself. Everything that like, she feels like she's a bad mum and like, but I I just love her the way she is. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> I can try and pin some of these bits on as well. That's fun. Because it should be enough to do your waist and to do Don't your head do. as well. It's only a few weeks to go to the start of my show. And then they can just lay them down. And although Mum won't be able to come, I'm trying to involve her with it as much as possible. We need to shape that slightly. You just don't bend over because you're all pinned up. Today one of my friend's mums has come round to help me with my costume. Just to make them more egyptian -y. You used to do all this sort of stuff for me. Yeah, and I hate being on the sidelines. Uh, it is sad to watch her go downhill, you know. It's horrendous. It's not a nice feeling at all. Seeing her so distressed, yeah. like her wanting to do things, but she can't. And you, you just you just feel like, what did she do to deserve this? It's not like she's criminal. Yeah, no. that looks good. I like it, it's really nice. I'm well, glad you like it. Yeah. We can find some more embellishment. This looks rank, but it's nice. It's for our lunch. Today I'm going to a training course in Leeds. What will help my art uh, tree? Maddie, come and tighten these for me, please. Uh, right it. I got invited to go because I'm a good shooter. There's coaches there that has worked with the GB team. Relax your bow hand. So I hope they can help me get where I want to be. Nice smooth draw. That's good. Not a lot that needs improving. I felt that. Yeah? Good. What's your long-term goal then, Maddie? I'd like to shoot for GB. You would no problem getting that in if you're prepared to work hard. But the beauty of it is, is you meet people from all over the world. I've been lucky to go to Denmark, Croatia. The juniors have just come back from China. Your world's your oyster. If I do get to Team GB, you have to do certain international shoots. That's the junior girls when we went to Croatia. Mm-hmm. I think travelling around the world would be good. How long do you go to the country, sir? About 10, 12 days. It's all a paid trip. So um, everything's taken care of from the airport until you get back to the airport. And family's paid for as well? No. What happens is the families have to get you to the airport and then it's the responsibility of the staff to look after you until the trip's over and we get back to the airport. 
I will cope if I went around. That cope, not very well. <laughs> Put it that way. I don't know how to explain it, my dear. You do a lot. If something happened to my mum when I went there, I'd feel bad because I'm supposed to be looking after her and I wouldn't be there to do my usual jobs. When I have bad days, no good, no use. I'd be a bit stuck without you. Archery is my sport, and I'm good here, but if it was ever a decision to choose my mum or, or archery, it would be my mum, defo. Well, we'll see what. You'll have to work hard for the next couple of years and see what happens. I love my mum, and she's my family at the end of the day. I love you. I love you. In the night, babe. Make sure you lock up, please, we are. Colour. Skirt for Mrs. Potiphar. Today. Show day. Hey, Mum. Hi, sweetheart. Are you all ready? Yeah. I'm looking forward to it a lot. Because <laughs> it's been ages and we've been practicing for so long. <laughs> Very collect. That's what I say, isn't it? Thanks, Mum. Love you, sweetheart. I love you too. Big news! Mum is coming to see the show. <gasps> Two, three, go. I didn't think it would happen, so, like, I'm really excited. Why should I down like this? I feel very honoured that she's making all this effort just to come and see the show that I'm in. <laughs> No, 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 move your feet with it, put it back on. This time next year, I don't think she'll even be able to get out. <laughs> I mean, I really want to make this one as special as it possibly can be. So, all oh, her effort is worthwhile. I don't know when I'm going to go, how long I've got. Could be short or long. But I m could miss your wedding. Yeah. Which would be awful. Your first baby. You just got to make sure you enjoy yourself and don't let what happened to me stop you. Yeah. Are you listening? My mum lots and lots. I don't know what I'd do about her. Aggression. Lots of people take their parents for granted, you know, but you have to think deeper than that. Never take anything for granted, because one day it might be all gone. Everything you ever loved and something just could be gone in a second. <laughs>